And best of five, third place match in Warlords 2. Reminder, nine villagers start, so uh, things are, are pretty quick here. And uh, and we kind of all just, we are already said it, Dave, classic matchup. These guys have played against each other in big stages dating back to 10 years ago. It should be a fun series here. I can't remember the last time I saw Khmer on Kawasan. So Ooh, already something point. different here from, yo, maybe it was played some point in the group stages. I cannot remember, but... Usually it's been Persians here, Portuguese, Japanese has been really popular, right? Any sort of standard hybrid Civ mm -hmm. yeah. has really, really excelled here. But Khmer, I mean, if you're going for the land pressure, Khmer have a lot of options. They can go for the stable or the archer range most likely early and try and control that while your opponent's trying to contest water. However, they've docked different pawns, so we won't see a water contest right away. That might favor the Civ that is opting to go for land. Yeah, that's true. And that's a big part of this map, um, because it both players are in between the pawns. So decisions have to be made. And Viper already scouted the pawn for Yo. Yo probably on his way to go scout Viper's side. I mean, it's something he'll, he might even check with a fishing ship later on. But, you know, my first thought with Yo and Khmer is, what about a fast castle, dude? It's a third place match. You know, you're ultimately, even though there's more money on the line here, these guys are super competitors. They would have wanted mm -hmm. to be fighting for first place today. Is there a world where you could go for like three or four fishing ships? Maybe even five if you think that you're on the, the other pond from your opponent. I go for like fast castle knights? Is that too crazy here? Tristan, I saw on Reddit <clears throat> and there's one guy and I'm totally getting one guy right now <laughs> who doesn't like when we say is there a world? He doesn't like that phrase. Well, is so there a today, world where I'm that going... guy can get used to it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's probably this one. It's actually most likely this one. <laughs> Because if there's a world where he could get used to it, it would be much better for him. Because I don't know if I'm working that out of my vocabulary any anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> is there a world in which he can go fast castle? There is. Are we living in it? That's another question, right? We'll know by his uptime yeah. uh, whether he's going to go for that approach. He is actually sending a villager out to gold right now. And he's going to go up with 20 villagers, two fishing ships. If he really cuts it tight, he could maybe get enough resources to do that. But then you're getting to Castle Age and you're like, what are you making, dude? Yeah, Especially yeah. with um, with Viper going for the dock contest right away. Yeah, that's true. I, I mean, it's just something that came to mind here. And Yo would do that on, on Pond's maps with like Lithuanians and whatnot in the past. And Kimura could be arguably easier. So Yo's just now going to see... Well, actually, no, he's not going to see the dock situation. He just missed it somehow. So he has yet he to see where Viper has docked. Uh, we could assume that he knows, but he hasn't seen any. He hasn't confirmed anything yet. And he's adding a farm, dude. This is Fast Castle from Yo, 100%. Okay. Is it Fast Castle into just a couple nights to disrupt the eco? Is it Fast Castle into... You're not going to be able to afford like a siege push yeah. at all, right? The... The thing that should be mentioned with this is you choose one thing. <laughs> and that one thing <laughs> is what you have. It doesn't work too bad. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> so you have one thing. And usually I would say you add a stable. Because knights can trade pretty well against anything that happens on land. Yo's probably going to have to give up water here. But I, I really like the strat. Like it, Again, it makes sense with the Khmer. We have not seen the Khmer in other games. Because players are trying to compete for multiple pawns. And play mm -hmm. out standard games in Feudal Age. So this is very fitting. This is definitely part of Yo's plan when he picked the Civ. With Japanese fish, even if Yo goes for an FC like this and he's, oh man, dude, this is pretty nice. He's only going to have, what, 11 seconds of idle TC time? Yep. That's a beautiful thing with 20 villagers, two fishing ships. Even if Yo has those knights out as fast as we think he will, Viper has Japanese fishing ships and he's going to have control over one of the pawns and then nominal control over the second. Yeah. If he continues going for fish here and identifies what Yo's doing. So his castle age time isn't even going to be that far behind, Mr. Yo. Yeah, in, in theory, right? Now, where it gets tricky is Yo's going to have opportunities and Viper sees the dock villager. This is something that Yo didn't think about till now. But we'll see if Viper gets a snipe, but Yo's going to have an opportunity that stable forward. to go pretty aggressive on land. Exactly. And that villager will see Yo. Are you warmed up? Are you ready to quick wall? Nope. Does not care. But, dude, I'm, I'm thinking, like, either you go one stable 
and you go like two to three knights with scorpions here, which I think could yeah. be really strong, or maybe even two staples here from Yo. I don't want to alarm anyone, but that was 5% of Yo's economy. <laughs> <laughs> Viper just killed right there with that skill. <laughs> oh, man. That's the Roman's bonus right there. <laughs> it's true. And so for Viper, you know you're going to have all these fishing ships. His eco lead's going to be ridiculous. Now you just need to hold from this. And if you kill a couple knights, if you prevent Yo from killing your, your buildings, your TCs for a couple more minutes, the longer you delay this, the better for you. So, Yo at the limit. We said he'd have to choose one thing. He might be able to justify the Siege Workshop too. He actually goes for the Monastery, which... Monastery. I think on the original version of Kalasan, all the relics were in the middle, so I would like this a yep. whole lot more, but I'm not sure but I love Monastery also, opening here. I, I, I think it's good in a way, because you get that relic, you get the passive income in, and then you can convert the spears from Viper as he sits in Feudal Age, mm. and you can heal up your knight. Yeah. That is going to be so important, right? Yeah. And it's going to be it's going to be more than one knight. Oh, man, he can afford more than one knight here. <laughs> Amazing. What a, it's such Yo. a big deal. Yeah. And Viper <laughs> and he gets try a villager. quick wall. And Viper, the best at this, but Yo should know you just block with the scout, then you you let the knight attack. That's what you he do. He can't get away with this. Surely he doesn't get away with this. There we there go. There we go. All right, so two I would have been knights. so disgusted if he actually saved that villager. And, he, and a siege workshop, so a stable monastery siege workshop. Only two knights. Yeah, still and three on food. And that's like, that's it, right? Like, he's going out to berries now. He's got three farms. Like, you're not going to see many more knights out of Yo here. Now, Viper, he's going to add a scout out of that stable. And that's really important here. Because if he can snipe a couple of the monks, the monks in the siege are actually going to be the most important part of this, this uh, whole attack here for Yo. But then just not a strategy you would expect maybe if this was the final. Yo taking some risks here, happy to show us something different as it's a third place match. And Viper hiding his scouts behind his walls. He's adding another stable, but Yo slowly taking this one out. And Viper won't have those berries there either. Not that big a deal if he has the fish, but it is notable because Viper will need food. You had a ram here if you're Yo. Can you afford a ram? Yeah, can you afford a, a ram? Is the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I like Scorpion only because the stable's almost down already, right? Yeah. And so the There's Scorpion the at least helps you with the fight. And yeah, he's going to go for the ram. And so Fast Castle on Kawasan here from Yo. He'll see Viper sneaking around towards the middle. And knows that he can't send any more monks that way. Yo is going to have three knights... Viper needs to wall behind this, but there's no farms around the TC, so actually Yo could run underneath the TC if he were to realize Ooh, this. Oh, the scouts, though, dude. The scouts, man. They're still behind here, and Yo's kind of leaving with the knights now. Yeah. If he doesn't pay attention to this, Viper can snipe all of that. But the knights are into the wood line. Viper, can he quick wall? Of course Yo he needs can. to wall his monks in here, and I'm not sure he's going to be able to have it in him to do it. He's made a gate between the enemy walls, which is epic. And Viper is now walled in a way where Yo is outside of the walls. What in the world? Yep. Those knights have to loop the whole way around now, which gives Viper another opportunity to wait a little bit and go in for those two monks and those two scorpions. This is the most comfortable counterplay ever. Yeah, seriously. They're just like five scouts. He's about to have six. They're going to be light cav here. He just goes right to Yo's eco. And he's going to be in on that wood line with light cap, with forging. And Yo's already thinking he's exposed at home. Unfortunately for him, he did the berries, he did the gold, but he did not get the wood line completed yet. Actually, could be much worse. Uh, Viper's going to kill a few villagers, though, and all. in the final moments, the light cap pay off. And this is Viper killing villagers at Yo's base when we already know Yo is behind an eco. Mm -hmm. That was actually... A much better fight for those villagers than I thought it would be. Yep, agreed. I thought all of them would die there, so that's okay, I suppose, versus what it could have been for Mr. Yo, but it's still a rough position, and Viper got a conversion on that night. The yeah. Lightcap need to back away from the Scorpions, but it's a siege workshop for Viper, and we look at the amount of gold he has in the bank there. He could go Redemption, he could go Sanctity as well, and now he's just killing the monks with the TC, so yep. Yo... Not able to keep up, really. And it was just like, a couple things go wrong with this type of push, and you could die. And I think the monks going down is the biggest part of that. I think we're just a moment away from Viper diving and killing the, all the, the push here, because as long as the scorpions are out of the picture, 
the knights from Yo can never be near the monks. Manganel hops out, oh, hits one God. of the scorpions, and yeah, this is Viper. He knows, man. He knows that he's defended from this. He's just going to convert both of these knights, too. Or he's going to try to, as well. Yeah, and Yo, kind of the player we think of. Maybe Yo and ACCM, uh, in terms of the fight, right? Players who think, I can still do this, when no one else believes it's possible. But I think Yo should also have the game sense to know that this is just going to snowball out of control here. He's going to lose another monk. Lightcap was such a good addition from Viper, and he was so patient against all that aggression from Yo. But Yo's going to go fires on Viper's pond. That's not something I was expecting Yo to try here. No, Yo, I was, I, I saw that, and I thought the War Galley research would come in because he really doesn't like using just fire galleys. Yeah. To snipe fish, he prefers the War Galley tech, especially against. Um, Japanese fishing ships, but I, I don't even know if Viper has to counterplay this. Yeah, I agree. all the fish are almost gone. Yeah, and his light cab, yo, didn't have yeah. the walls down again because he has to send more villagers to wood, so Viper just continues to counterattack, and then he's got his monks in the middle, grouped up. I think he gets two conversions here with the way those monks are looking. Yep, gets the two conversions. Two this monks still alive. so over, dude. <laughs> it's so over. There's no way back. There's absolutely no way back for you. But, oh my so, God. so there was a world where we could see Fast Castle, but the success of this has just not even looked close. <laughs> I think, like, if it's a map where there's one pond, and you give up one pond, and then can contest that one pond, which is all eight fishing ships in this case, that would maybe make sense. But Viper's still going to have the ability to fish on the left side. Viper mm -hmm. has such a nice vill lead now. And Yo's just like, we got this, baby. <laughs> We can do it. <laughs> yeah, and Viper's back on the wood line again. Oh, oh, quick walls. Okay. He doesn't need a gate either. He can just hop in those houses and get into the wood line those... if he needs to. Probably should probably should have done this five minutes ago. Yeah. But but those lumberjacks are gonna bump like we've never seen lumberjacks bump before, dude. Like <laughs> there is no way that he's gonna be able to efficiently drop off wood there. And Viper's still defending at home. Drops TC number two and three. Something Yo can't really justify. And resource count still climbing for Viper here. And Viper's res collected. Probably insanely higher. He's collected like 3k more resources. More of every resource. Almost. And yeah. uh, Yo's still pushing. I don't know how this yeah. guy has so much self-belief. I'm jealous. Maybe it's just third place match. Whatever. Let's try it. He's yep. trying to block... Uh... They light cav with his own light cav, but he got blocked by his own light cav. <laughs> and that was an interesting <laughs> sentence there, but that's exactly what happened. And Sanctity is coming in after the monks die. Fantastic uh, result for Viper there as he tries to escape with this weak light cav. Manages to get away at 1 HP. Has the three TCs, like you said. Still has the fishing ships on the left and didn't even bother defending on the right. Because why? Yeah. Right? There was one deep fish left. Yeah, the fish brought you enough. You had enough villagers. The farming eco for Viper is actually rather low. Like, he's got 500 wood. The pressure's definitely gotten to his, his eco balance. Because if he's under a little bit less pressure, you would probably see those go into farms immediately. And this is the last chance for Yo here. He still has the hill, which is a valuable position to have. And Viper's army count is rather low. Yo knows the hill's important. He's even going to TC this hill in the middle right now. TC it forward, too, because why not? Yeah. Like you lose, Might you lose well the middle, it's game over. Yeah, like it feels yeah. close to over anyway, so just might as well just go more all in with something. And light cap from I'm Viper will die. He's not, I'm surprised he's not on stone yet, honestly. That seems like the only way back. If Viper himself is on stone underneath the TC that was being attacked, and both players take some losses here and some expensive losses. Viper loses every single monk, but Yo loses both of his mangonels. Oh, there was man. a lot of gold in the bank. Yeah. And he's like surprisingly alive right now. Yeah, I agree. Surprisingly alive is the way to describe it. it he's He's got opportunities. Viper losing another monk to Lycav. He's tried to quick wall that multiple times. It hasn't worked out. Think about it from Viper's perspective. You think you have the eco lead, which he does. You want mm -hmm. a defensive castle. But you can't easily place a castle anywhere here if Yo's got all this army and Yo will have siege. So Viper needs good army engagements. His like have numbers at one. I actually think there's a chance here for you. Much, much greater I, than I would have said like three minutes ago, right? 
It, yes, it does seem remotely possible right now, but I think we're just in that stage where Viper's eco is, you know, it's in a lull right now. Yeah. But when it kicks in, it's really, really going to kick in. Yeah. Because he's got a significant advantage here. 71 bills versus 46. Total res collected, 4.3k ahead now. Yeah. For insane. Viper. And it's not like he's taken that many bad fights. So I think, he hasn't been wasting it. He's been putting it into his economy. Yeah, and I think something that Viper could continue to do, because right now Yo's not immediately damaging, and Viper's got to leave this wood line here. Mangano might surprise him, but a couple counterattacks from Viper could still do a lot of damage. Yo's still very mm -hmm. exposed at home. Yo will have all his focus in the middle. Redemption in for both, and Sanctity as well. Oh, God. But that's Yo three knights targeted by Convert. You need to get out. Oh, no, dude. Well, he didn't have bloodlines yet, so he didn't give Viper bloodlines. I think there's a positive there. <laughs> That's the silver lining. But yeah, Viper paying close attention with his monks. He's made it so difficult for Yo to be able to break him with these pushes. And it's 81 eco for Viper, 51 for Yo, 2 TCs for Yo, 4 TCs for Viper. And Viper soon about to have the stone to build a castle. Again, it's like, where do you build it? I guess you could accept a very defensive castle, like a low-risk castle, just to protect your TC. Yep. And you don't have to place it anywhere towards the middle. Cav archers for Viper. I like it's it. It's a more popular choice for Japanese now. They will do better against the monks. They will, with all the upgrades, do fine against the Maganels. And you can see Viper's market getting converted at the front there. He's going to have to build another one. Okay, this castle from Viper, though, is wild to me. Like, Yo can... I guess he caught a glimpse of it. But I guess Viper realized the siege push and the monk push was focused on the right. And that's a castle that could so easily be denied if Yo had a Meganel there. But if it goes up, of course, it will be incredible for Viper as he continues to house wall, continues to defend with monks. Hey, he's building up the Cav Archer numbers. And Yo, you could tell he's like, No, please don't get a castle up. Not on my TC. No, and it goes up. And that's brutal, and it's especially helpful for Viper as he, he hops out to snipe the monks with the Cav Archers. It's especially helpful because he already has, uh, or will have Bod Canero soon for the CA, and that'll apply to the castle. He's got Atonement now, too. So he has Sanctity, Atonement, and Redemption. Lots of upgrades here in this game. I'll tell you what. I like Cav. Cav Archers, Knights, big shots there. But Yo needs to break Viper. He needs to push Viper. Viper almost has double the population here. And again, we said before, felt like Yo wasn't going to be able to do much. Yo dropping a third TC at home right now, Dave. <laughs> I love his spirit. <laughs> uh, it's on stone, too. Yeah. It's on stone. He's like, I got the middle area. Why Why am I going to give up? He and hasn't pressured me in a while, and that's about to change here as the Cav Archers come back around. And it's not just Cav Archers, it's Knights with Cav Archers, so the Scorpions will have trouble. But Yo wisely walls himself into a little cage here, and he's just going to protect his vills with some siege. Still, Viper pressuring the eco from Yo. Yo is no longer in a comfortable spot on this side of the map, and Viper can use that distraction to push out through the front. Yeah, and this is this is the type of game Viper should know. His position is superior here. First game of the series, Yo. Maybe warming up a little bit here as well, but... It still looks like now, especially now that Bodkin Arrow's in, it's so tough for him to ever break Viper. And I think we could see everything from Yo go down here soon. Uh, Siege getting converted now. Monk's going down. And the Cav Archer Mass is up to 16. I don't think you have the eco, really, to stop the Cav Archer Mass from Viper now. Here you go. No, and Viper's going to have a follow-up castle. Likely on that middle area somewhere. Yeah. Where there's, what, like 10 villagers, 14 villagers just peacefully taking berries? <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be peaceful for very long. Yeah. Okay, does Yo call the GG here, though? Yep. He, he, okay, did you have fast forward on as well? I did. Because <laughs> I was like... You said that, too. Because I was like, uh, Dave, sorry about it, but uh, I kind of already know the answer to my question. Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was a fun game. It was a fun game. It definitely it, it had third place match vibes in some ways, but Yo always feels like he has to be a little bit creative against Viper regardless, right? And uh, the creativity here didn't pay off. I think Viper's fishing ships are just too strong, right? You mentioned it. It's like, Yo gets to Castle Age, and then he loses that one vill. It was 5% of his eco that he lost there. And then Viper had added so many more fishing ships and had such a massive eco lead there. Uh, ultimately, 
Yo probably kills the majority of the, the player base, majority even the top 100 with that strategy right there. But to beat the Viper with that, maybe a little bit too risky. And Viper goes up 1-0 here. I think it's just so transparent to a player of Viper's caliber what Yo's strategy is going to be. Yeah. And then he knows the steps to take to defend against it. And it's like the advantage that Viper has, other than obviously his execution and whatnot, but the advantage he has over a player that might be defeated by that is he's going to recognize what Yo is going for 10, 20 seconds faster than the other guy. And mm -hmm. he's going to start preparing that much faster. Yep. Right. And with so much experience on Viper's side, he's not going to get caught off guard by something like this. Yeah. The fast castle. That works so much better on maps where there's not water, right? Because you're both just limited mm. to land, and that's where the Khmer player will be pressuring. If there is water, that allows the player in Viper's position to get an 8-10 to 10 eco lead that wouldn't otherwise exist. But I like the risk. Good stuff. We'll move on to the next game here shortly. Yo will maybe have some new funky strats for us. But game Yo two... always stalks the middle pond, dude. Always. Like, it, it, it's, it's uncanny how often he does it. Yeah, and if you wanna if you wanna punish him, then you gotta punish that as well. But we're speaking about the middle pond, and, and Viper's right beside it. Viper's playing as the Malay here. TC spot off to the left. Yo has got a lot more real estate to work with, and Viper might have an issue with that gold near his TC. He yeah. does maybe see the one farther away, and he does. Okay, so at least he has an option to go to. Yeah, that's true. I mean, from what we can see, right? Like, the pressure's gonna come right through the middle. That gold for Viper might not be a good option. Uh, Malay for Viper, we we mentioned how Yo loves his his pond action, right? But Viper loves his ponds with the Malay, right? A great fishing civilization. The docks get extra vision. Yep. Um, so I could see a world, too, where Viper actually chooses to take the middle ponds. Now, he's docked the outside for now. But something to consider for the future. You got to compare the dock vision as they paused here. A viper could see so much around the dock there. And, and yes. if he could see further, if the edge of the map wasn't there, he could see even more. And then Yo, obviously he sees enough. But like having a non malay dock just feels like you're three ages behind or something. <laughs> Did you see the, the Jordan set? Yeah, the Yo Jordan the set? Nomad, yeah, the Nomad game where Jordan's dock was like literally the worst dock on possible on the entire map for I can, fish. I don't remember talking about the original dock from Jordan. I, it was like on the um south <clears throat> southeast, right? Where it was Yeah, and and it, the nearest fish like I looked around the map for a worst possible dock okay. spot with a shore fish. The nearest fish was like 15 tiles away. Oh rip, dude. For <laughs> <laughs> so Jordan. Bad. Yeah, and then he he tried to hit Yo's fish, and then he eventually killed Yo's fish, but then Yo was just added more fish in the little pond, like yep. a boss anyways. And so, another pause here. I imagine there might be some lag or something, but it gives us time to, to talk and break it down more. Um, is there a sieve that you prefer here? I feel like I would prefer the Malay because of how important water is on Nomad, but Bohemians. I know... You prefer Bohemians, okay. And especially the way that Yo plays. Like, Yo will play Fast Castle unless he realizes there's a resource that he needs to contest for and then he'll play extended feudal yeah he won't play the extended feudal water battle generally what he'll do is just shift his fish around against the fire galleys to a new dock he'll immediately get the war galley tech when he gets up to the next age and then just yeah. go and snipe his opponent's fish mm -hmm. and then he'll have like a bazillion vills on gold get a castle up to pressure his opponent, start getting uni unique units out, and uh, move on from there. It might be a little bit tougher, though, if Viper can test the water and then is able to go up super quickly with that's the fair. melee, right? And get a similar uptime. Yeah, that, that's true. You know, I think another thing we, we brought up that we thought could be negative for Viper could also be negative for Yo here. He doesn't see the gold near his TC to the north. He might find it, but that's, like, really he close, will. right? So no, there's that. Will. And okay, yeah. as I say this, he actually is going to run past the other gold to the east of his TC. So that should be fine. Um, he does need to house trick this boar, though. He is going to be f It's yo, dude. You know, I, and now that I said that, to... this bill's going to die. Yeah, but like, with the downhill hit or something, right? <laughs> yeah. Or the relic's going to block it or something stupid. Got to add some level of mystery, all right? And just pretend there's a chance that these players can make mistakes. Yeah. It's a third place match. Clearly something has gone wrong for them. <laughs> okay, nice job there from Yo. 
But yeah, I, I agree. I could see Yo going fast castle. I think the, the best play for the Bohemians here is to do that. Against some civs, though, like let's say Lithuanians or Persian civs where you might think there could be knights, you might go mm -hmm. lots of monks with Bohemians. But going monks against the Malay, it feels very unnatural because it's not a civilization that's usually going to have knights. I, yeah, I, I like the Hussite wagons with monks to follow them up. Yeah. Idea. Same with, with when you're going conks, right? Because a, a big counter to the unique unit is monks from the defensive player. Mm -hmm. yep. And if you have your own monks and you get atonement early, you just convert their monks while they're trying to convert you. Yep, that's it's a fantastic result. Yeah, you're we're not an arena here, but that uh, would make sense. And the other thing too is if you're expecting to potential ha potentially have some issues on water here, or be giving up water, the unique unit for the Bohemians doesn't cost food. It's just mm -hmm. wood and gold, right? So you use wood and gold for the wagons, and then you use wood and gold for the monasteries and the monks. So we've seen many examples of this Hussite wagon being insane. And uh, the only thing that could realistically deal with them is the opponent making monks. <laughs> so I mean, Siege does Listen, do bonus to, damage to them, but it's, it's shown that I think it, it needs to either be... There needs to be more damage from Siege against the Wagons for it to be a good play, in my opinion, or maybe the Wagons need to lose HP in a balance patch or something. They're still really strong. There's something happening in the exact middle of the map. Viper on gold? Are, you, are we talking birds here? We're talking birds. <laughs> Sorry, this is our first cast. We're talking birds! On Twitch, yep, for a while. We're talking birds, dude. Of course we are. Yeah. Of course we are. It only ever happens when I'm casting with you, it feels like. <laughs> I, the birds, I don't know. <laughs> you know... I know that are, like that. that are like Socotra, right? Where it's like, for whatever mm -hmm. reason, there's always a bunch of birds stuck together here. Still mm -hmm. still miss the bird in the corner, though. I can't believe they fixed yep. that. So Viper so uh, locates the dock from Yo here. So he knows where Yo's fish is, and Viper will now realize that that fire galley he's producing is going to take uh, some some distance to get over there. And that's he's not actually something the he would pond. want. Ooh. Yeah, so Viper's got the middle pawn, and the best thing about this is that if Yo wants to dock that, which, like I said, he usually does, Viper can see everything. Yeah, that's there a good point. With that point. Malay dock, and that also that Malay dock is is doubly effective because it gives him vision on like the whole left side of his base as well. Yeah, he's like cutting Crazy. off this entire area. And guys, this is a team bonus too. So if you really like this, but you're not obsessed with the malay as a civilization just tell that mm -hmm. guy in the group who's really bad to just pick malay for the team all right yep. <laughs> have, i don't know who that is right nobody clipped this and send it off to their friends but you know maybe you give that player the malay uh, how much you want to bet go ahead okay so yo's going yo's going fc how much you want to bet he gets town watch here in feudal age always mm. nomad always town watch before he clicks up i i, I would like to see it he always does it, dude. But you also said, "How much do I want to bet?" So I, I don't know. Now there's like, yeah, because I know he always does it. It's a sure thing. <laughs> so I shouldn't take the bet. Okay, I'm not going to bet anything. <laughs> well, no, I agree I with you. I shouldn't have said that. Damn. <laughs> wow, you seem pretty convinced there, Dave. <laughs> he's, he's, yeah, but I, I cursed it, so he's not going to do it this time. You uh, know, true. he has two bills queued. Ah, uh, well, you can't queue Town Watch because you're in Dark Age, right? Yeah. So, so that's always the weird thing. Yeah, but still, the fact he has two bills queued is a little bit weird, but. We'll see. He's on gold right now, and he's gone for his stable. Yeah, seriously. Also, a dock mm -hmm. on the outside. Now, he didn't really know that that was a pond where Viper has docked, so that he didn't have the vision there. But there it is. There it is. Town watch. All right. Glad I didn't take the bet. Good stuff, Dave. Good call. I know everything about Yo's game. Well, that's because... He's the one player I know best. Yeah, it's because Yo is, is, like, the best Nomad player from the top players. He does these types mm -hmm. of things, and that's what gets us so excited about him. And we don't see, like, we don't have Nomad tournaments, <laughs> right? We just don't. We had one, which you and I hosted the, the Wandering Warriors Cup a couple years ago. Um, but otherwise, you really have to, like, be a part of those big team game Nomad games that Yo likes to play or have watched them to know the, the tricks. And Town Watch, gonna pay off. Look at that. The vision from that outpost is greater now for Yo. He sees Viper on that gold, and he's making yep. scouts right now. Viper has no clue... That Yo is making scouts. And with this second outpost over here to the left, because of the way the map is structured, Yo will track all of Viper's movements. Yep. Literally everything over to his side. So he's got control 
uh, or you know vision over 75 percent of the map here he's mm -hmm. also gone for a dock on the left side because he knows where viper's dock is he found that with a sheep earlier and once he gets the castle h he will get that war galley upgrade immediately and he also will see the dock from viper likely on the pond if he wants to disrupt that yeah that one's going to be tougher to find he has to continue to build outposts here so viper Monastery right now for viper but there's a stable of scouts in it yeah right so there viper right now is thinking i'll win water like he thinks that yo's gonna go water kind of similar to what we had said in dark age and go wagons yo's not going mm -hmm. wagons yo's going scouts and water and viper sees this great reaction time from him because the losses could be so much greater and he's, and he's like, what? Lose a villain. He's like, oh, God, I regret adding this monastery now. Yeah. <laughs> but Yo, Yo kind of played him, though, because he knew that Viper thought he was going to go into wagons. So yeah. Viper automatically goes for that monastery. He does have a relic there, so he's going to grab that right away. And he's gone for another TC on the other side. So the scouts won't find many areas to hit, but this is giving a lot of map control for Yo. And now Yo can feel free to maybe even go out to that stone in between their two bases, take that, and then go into the castle approach if he wants to. Yeah, I, I really think a Siege Workshop would make sense as well here for Yo, right? It just, just to hit that goal. The only way Viper's going to counter Siege... Oh, that's such a Yo Siege Workshop, dude. A forward Siege oh, Workshop? That, that's such a Yo Siege Workshop right there on the side. That is just he's, no, he's, Yo energy. That, that's that's old Yo energy. Present day Yo energy is going to build the, the defensive one. Surely. The town center. Yeah. Yo lost some fishing ships here. Viper's got more villagers because he's added the TCs. Viper's got more fishing ships. Yo's down to one fishing ship. So all his creativity from Yo, but Viper in a really nice position here. He didn't lose a lot to the scouts. He knows they're out now. He'll add a couple spears. Doesn't track these, though. Yo not really grouping his scouts the best, though. Uh, he's going to probably gonna find a Vilkil, find a Vilkil maybe. here. I mean, it is Viper. Yeah, she's dead. Okay, and Viper's gonna find the monastery from Yo, and <laughs> Viper walls in the villager here, and the monastery's gonna complete, but the only way that she escapes is if that house gets deleted now. Oh, well, that's that's a Viper play right there. And Yo's villager probably gonna go I love the war galley just kind of hanging out there, too. Yeah, it's waiting. Like, I see you. One of these days. Viper's gonna be three town centers with now five fishing ships. Yo was able to snipe quite a few of them. Well played there from Yo. The the four fishing ships now that Viper has remaining are actually in that pond. We'll see if a monk comes out of the monastery though, Dave, because Viper's going to gate it up right now. Can be really wonky though. I think you have to wall the corners as well. The monks could still come out. Mm -hmm. Yo, very late with the siege. Like the siege workshop's just now coming up. Uh, if he had the scouts alive with a mangonel here on Viper's gold, it would push Viper off the gold. Obviously, Viper's got the gold in the back now, but feels like the timing could have been a little bit better for Yo. As a monk Yo's now goes down. Monk just dies right to that TC immediately. Great gates from Viper there. Couldn't escape. And Yo goes for a counter dock on that middle area. Probably doesn't want Viper to get away with just fish trapping like crazy yeah. in that pond. Yeah, it's, it, I think if Viper's not Malay... Or like Japanese or something, he might not Yo even go for care. this. Yeah, but yeah. you just do not want the Malay to be able to freely fish trap with how much food they get on their fish traps. Also worth pointing out, with all these shorelines, you can go on that beach terrain. It's a specialty of this version of the map. So yeah. if you take water control here, you actually have a lot more area you can potentially control other than just the water. There's all this beach area your ships can run up on. I like how the monastery now for Yo is basically just a research monastery. Thankfully, he's Bohemian's fervor and sanctity affects the villagers as well as the monks. And Viper deletes his mill there. I think that was probably a misclick from him. But I like how Viper, I love how Viper's played this actually. Like, he took the gold for a while, obviously lost mm -hmm. one vill, but then plans to TC the gold in the back and the stone in the back. So he's been mining a lot back there. So he can kind of give up the front of his base right now in theory. He took advantage of the faster melee uptime to get the tc's back there safely faster than yo could really pressure and he took advantage of the positional um part of this map on the left side right he had plenty of space to run over there for golds and stones yep. and wood lines and the berries and the pond and everything now this will get interesting so fire galleys are going to start coming out here from yo he'll snipe some of viper's fish but viper's getting redemption now so we can convert the siege Yo already researched Atonement, so he can convert Viper's monks. Mm -hmm. Viper hasn't really seen any monks yet. 
He saw the old monastery, so he might think that Yo's not going to make any monks at all. And this can snowball on a player. And both players are building up towards a castle as well. So if the, whatever direction this fight ends up going might determine who castles this hill. Like to see the light cav upgrade from Yo. I think that would be big here. And then he's eventually going to push forward for a castle. He's just going to need to have the units there to support him, right? Yeah, okay. Now Viper sees the monk. Now Viper might think now atonement to deal with the monks, but he doesn't actually have a ton on gold. He's just got like five on gold. There's he sells all of his stones, so there's no ca there's no defensive castle potential here for Viper. Yeah, true. And Atonement's not in yet. And it's already in for Yo, and I think Viper just realized that. Now, Viper's got the spears as well. This would be the moment for Yo to bring the villagers, if Yo really feels like a forward castle is needed. The villagers might start running from a woodline or something. And Viper's Atonement upgrade completes. So Viper's got three monks, Yo's got three monks. Everything here is vulnerable to conversion. Just what do you convert, and then how's the R, how are the RNG gods going to treat your monks today? And it looks like both players are going to swap monks there for a second. Scouts go in. They don't kill the other monks. It's a questionable time to be here for, for Yo if that Manganel was converted, but it's still on his side. I'd love to see the villagers on the way. Oh man, the Manganel could be converted. This is <laughs> this is dicey. I think maybe you don't want to start building the castle here right now. I don't know. Dude, if he got the light cav upgrade, all these monks would have been dead from yeah. Viper. Maybe a couple more scouts too, right? Viper had just enough spears. The strongest of his spears get converted there though. And there's the light cav upgrade now from Yo. Yeah. So he probably thought the same thing you did and might be kicking himself a little bit because he could have had don't it. Don't let this Manganel go down. Don't no way. You don't no. It's no. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Calculated. Oh my god. <laughs> he did the math. <laughs> All right, so Mangano being repaired. A thousand stone now for Yo. And he's, he's, he really wants his castle to be forward because he's building another stable first. I think he wants a couple more units out. Mm -hmm. and it Viper... might be a situation, honestly, Tristan, where he's going to have enough stone to drop a castle there. And then while Viper's distracted, he sends another bunch of villagers to the left side to yeah. drop a castle forward there. Yeah, it feels like being the Malay, you can accept to give up this hill and then go imp faster. That might be the plan for Viper, but the mm -hmm. Lightcap hops out of the stable there. Viper was distracted. The Lightcap upgrade makes a difference and the castle's going up, dude. Makes oh, a big actually. difference there. And remember, these villagers have sanctity as well. Yeah, so they can true. tank a couple extra hits. Yeah, the monk. Oh, the Lightcap bugging out. He gets it back. Viper's starting to lose his monks here. Viper's starting to lose control. We know the castle's going up as well. All of Viper's monks are going down. Yo also repairs the Manganel in the, at the perfect time. So that Manganel can still stay alive to pressure Viper's buildings. You're going to see Viper use the market a lot here to try and balance mm -hmm. out his resources to go in. But he hasn't clicked yet, and he really needs gold. And there's the follow-up castle from Yo. It's not on the other <laughs> side. It's right beneath the first one to pressure the TC. Viper goes for a castle on that hill, only building with three villagers. Okay, joining forces with some others, and he is going to go up to Imperial Age pretty soon. But Yo is, Yo is not too far away. If he cancels some of these monks, buys some food, sells some stone, he could he could make it work. Yeah. So and and here's the thing, I'll say wagons can go underneath TCs. They can go underneath they castles. Care. Yeah, yeah, and they don't care about any of that. So if Viper hopes to go Trebs here, I completely understand his reasoning. But he has to be careful with his Trebs. If it was any other Civ, maybe he could just use his castle. But I think that Yo will know outside wagons could go underneath there. Viper also adding fish on the outside. I wonder if Yo will realize that, right? Because yeah. this is a position where a lot of players would just forget about the water entirely. Yep, it's true. Viper is not, and he's getting gill nets too. He's adding a ton of food eco back there. Viper's imp TC was the safe one too. So he's not going to lose his imp TC. I mean, he's going to be imp really quickly here, being the Malay. Oh, here comes another castle from Yo. A, a little worried here for Yo too. Oh, he's, he's got the light cap, never mind. But remember, Viper does monks, have redemption. He's got the vills. Yeah. So Viper can convert the wagons and the monks of the enemy. But I, this think, is... I think sanctity on the vills is actually might come into play on this one. Yeah. Viper will have five monks, four spears. It's not enough to stop a castle. Castle's going to go up. But Yo doesn't have a massive Hussite wagon number. He only has three. 
So the castles themselves are really what's going to do the most damage here. The Viper dude, is if, backed into a corner, dude. Like, he, he, he can't really go anywhere. <laughs> he really is. He still has that gold pile. He still has the stone pile. And if Yo realizes he's fishing on the outside, just a couple fires can completely ruin that entire investment. And Viper's farming ego, I mean, he's not going to have any room yeah. to farm soon. And Viper will still have just one castle. Heresy! Heresy it from Yo! It worked for him on that crazy arena game. Do you remember that, where he was sitting in Castle Age forever? Against Jordan, Against where Jordan? everyone thought he yep. was dead? Dude, that was so sick. Maybe and the Jordan best example him. of Heresy working in recent times. Yep. Heresy could be huge, and that that just gives him an extra level of comfort running him with the, these Hussite wagons. Yep. And if he has, like, 10 Hussite wagons or whatever with Heresy, if he runs in, what does Viper do against that? Karambits? The, and the worst thing about Heresy 2 is you can't click the opponent's buildings or their units to know Heresy's in. You just find out mm -hmm. in the worst way possible. So Viper converts a unit now, it will simply die, will not switch sides. Viper's fires are actually going to be converted. That's a big deal. If Yo uses those fires, Yo might yep. find out that Viper's still on water. And he's going to send them somewhere. Viper's traps There's are There's a lot out. of fish up there and fish traps being built too. So that's a big investment for Viper. Yep. And Viper will need to make Navy. Four now, He's though. He's going to find out Heresy's in, I think. No, he won't. Four now. Yo is the way. giving up his forward castle next to where Viper's TC used to be anyways. He's just giving that up. He's three minutes away from him. Viper's got a lot of time. I'm still not seeing Hussite wagons from Yo and the number I would like to see. I feel like you could be sitting underneath the TC here, Dave. Like, you could be doing something other than... He's chosen to go... Oh, oh! oh! Big devil there from Viper! That's and what I'm talking about. That is not the spot you wanted to sit if you were Yo. It was like four or five monks go down. And now he's just got a couple wagons and three monks instead of like eight or nine. Because I think Monk was going to be his main army comp in the next stage. Mm -hmm. oh, Look dude, at this, though. Clinical this. from Yo. Going for the walls. I, Beautiful. I, I love it, but I think it needed to happen before his castle was down. I'm not so okay, sure this actually happens. It's time for a demo of your own, Yo. It's time for a demo of your own. Come on, yo. On that monk army. Yeah, because the ships can go all the, the way idea. onto the sands. Like we just saw. He gave you the idea. Come on, yo. Ah, uh, they never do it, dude. They never do it. I always want them to do it. They never do it. Well, Viper did do it. So credit to Viper there. Yeah, but he didn't want to. <laughs> He's added a cannon galleon in this pond. That is an epic play. That can help him out so much here. Until it gets converted. Well, that's that's a fair point. <laughs> that's a fair point. You don't want to give the opponent a cannon galleon. Might be an issue. Oh, man. Yo, yeah. though, is uh, he, he's putting on a clinic here on map control on Nomad. Viper is putting on a clinic on how to survive. How to turtle. And how to use the water yeah. to your advantage. But uh, Yo, walling off. He's going for TCs around the sides. And now he's just heavy into monk production. I can't. Try and stop this pushback. Viper's just now running out of gold, right? Yo has all five relics. The Viper needs to push. And Yo finally makes it to the Imperial Age, where we will see more monk upgrades, I'm sure. But he's lost three castles, Dave. Like, he's super pop-capped, so he's got to make more houses behind this. Uh, could have researched chemistry on his way to the Imperial Age. That was something he forgot about. Just now made the university. And Viper... Should maybe think about moving forward, building a castle on the hill that Yo once had. The Viper does get a castle up on the hill. You wouldn't have thought that both players would have a castle on the same hill. And that gives Viper gold to make Arbalest. So it's going to be Arbalest and Monks for Viper. Pretty nice army comp to work with here. Man, I'd love to see Yo loop up to the north. He didn't see the fish. He only saw one fishing ship he killed earlier. Yeah. It might be he's got so much work to do to stabilize his economy right now. It might just be that that's not realistic for him to focus on right now. I think Viper will have realized that Heresy's in, by the way. I just, yeah, he I, knows. It, it, like, Yo went Heresy, which is really expensive, and then didn't really make a lot of units. So I thought it was going to be Heresy and, like, 10, 15 wagons. So Heresy, make arguments, maybe it didn't really pay off. We do have Yo uh, soon to complete chemistry, dropping his ranges behind this as well, but he's still behind on some blacksmith upgrades. And Viper's going to take out the monastery that has all five relics in it. Excellent pushback from Viper. That's crazy, dude. I And I wonder, I like, if he didn't... Have, or even if he went heresy and then just kept spamming Hussite wagons, yeah. what does Viper do in that situation? Yeah. 
maybe like it's really really tough maybe one of the instances where obviously yo is like a fantastic player and fantastic nomad player but he might not know how good the all-in wagon play can be here right as as oh, i think we've seen he tried to do that like five times okay all right well in... then yeah then, then there's then there's no excuse <laughs> exactly <laughs> then maybe a few wagons needed just, to come I out think... there Honestly, he underestimated the extent of Viper's eco back there. Like, Viper had 100 villagers in that corner. Yeah. And he had fishing ships. Yeah, like, seriously. It was so cramped, so claustrophobic. Viper's even, like, kind of running out of trees in some areas. But a sick job from Viper to stay alive against the aggression. Is losing a ton of his units right now to Yo's castle, but... He's just going to produce more. He'll have skirms of his own soon. The, the interesting thing for Viper, though, is he has zero on gold. He's sending villagers to the gold underneath the castle, but he doesn't even have a lead skirm right now. Mm -hmm. The Viper's losing a lot of ranged units here. It could be a problem for him. Yeah, and, and Yo's got that skirmisher production going. His resource is still looking decent. And remember, Malay in the late game against Bohemians, not really the Civ that you want. Still no elite skirm for Viper. I know, it's like, it might be like a Q in one of his ranges, to be honest. I'd have to check. Might be queued up behind some skirms, but it doesn't look like it. It's not! And, I mean, you could sell some food to get the gold to research a lead skirm with this eco. It's not that crazy. Yo also has been able to get two of his five relics again. Now, it's in the monastery right next to all this. There we but go. Now he it's still has the it. There's a lead skirm. Viper's going to be like, what in the world what happened there? But Viper's going to drop another castle, and Viper will then have three castles. I think if Yo was a little bit faster to chemistry, if he had Bombard Cannons a bit earlier, Viper's Trebs would be down right now. Viper not having lead Skirmisher could be something that would hurt him even more. But they're both going to build a castle in the same part of the screen. Yo, what are you doing, dude? He's got Trebs right there. He's crazy. But I guess the Bombard Cannon will come out from the Siege Workshop. Yep. And he's going to attack yep. rounds between the Trebs. And he will actually kill both of these Trebs. Bohemians are a hell of a drug, dude. Once you get that stone income and gold income flying in in mid castleage, you think, oh, I'm going to have this forever. Viper actually <laughs> ran out like, of gold to repair the trap. Viper ran Damn, out of gold dude. to repair the trap right there. Doesn't lose it just yet. But Yo's still holding on. Viper's still pushing. Viper's going to have 50 skirmishers. Yo just has five right now. On the world. Still got, he's still got a decent amount of food in the bank. He's still got a decent amount of gold in the bank. But Viper has taken this position. And now, like you said, he was running out of wood. He can chop wood now safely. Yep. He can take stone. He can take gold there. As long as he holds here. But we've seen the Bohemians specifically yesterday against Hera. Like, yo, he just manages to hold somehow, right? And if he ends up getting all his techs in, could be really, really dangerous for Viper. Yeah, Yo's really good stubborn player. The worry right now is simply the skirm number for me. The skirm upgrades are actually better than what Viper has. But it's the skirm number, skirm mass. Viper's got so many trebs here. And Yo's castle is likely to fall. Still hasn't lost his uh, Bombard Cannons, though. Yo's done a great job to convert most of the Karambits when they dove in there. Still holding to the hill, still has his own trebs. Going after Viper's castle now. Crazy to me, Viper's got 48 on food. How? Mm -hmm. How? Like, Yo having like eight right now seems a little low, well, but got, he's I mean, he's rated. got 12 fishing ships and those farms he placed earlier, right? Yeah, so good. Someone said Viper was probably making fish traps when he forgot a lead skirm. And honestly, not a bad guess. <laughs> a good call. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a pretty good call. Karambit and skirm for Viper still trying to push up the hill. Army count still so much greater here for Viper. But he doesn't have the potential the Bohemians do as Yo loses one of his Bomber Cannons. He really needs his Bomber Cannons to stay alive. I said Wagons could be big here, dude. As a meat shield, we could, like, could actually see them pushing back the Skirms. Yeah, they're fantastic if, if it's a skirm v skirm fight. Absolutely. Any type of range shooter, if there's a Hussite Wagon in the mix, good luck taking it out. They take one damage a hit, basically. Depending on the unit, of course, but... Viper's entire army is focusing on that wagon. <laughs> and it still has oh is barely taking it out, yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, Krambits are not elite for Viper. So he has a lot of Krambits in Q, but they're not as strong as they could be. Viper's still repairing this castle, let's not forget about that. And he's happy to just send his units into the meat grinder here. Damn, it is a meat grinder. Damn, this is a war of attrition right here on this hill. 
We Viper have... has plenty of stone to continue repairing that castle, and yo, well, he's found another stone in the south. I was wondering how long it would take him to get there. Still only 111 villagers, though. And more Karambits from Viper. Villagers aren't there to repair. Karambits will take out the Treb. Yo doesn't have anything to push Viper's castle now. And Viper still just has a significant army lead with consistency. He's got 50 skirms. He's got 20 more on the way. He's been, look at that castle from Viper. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I know you're farming here. I didn't, realize, I didn't realize you had all this eco here. My bad. I guess we'll just delete it later. I don't know. That's an amazing he'll castle. Buy 500 stone, and he's going to make a castle of his own, well, and he's going to attack the Vils on this one. Well, of course. It just feels like the natural play. <laughs> so now I guess Viper has to defend his castle with monks and skirms, and then use the trebs to take out the new castle from Yo. That castle from Viper is not going up. No, it'll go up. It's going to go up with one more villager. One villager remaining. Okay, I take that back. Wait, wait. This is Doubt's teammate, bro. <laughs> Well, he should, he should have been able to know. That was, that <laughs> was a, like, and look at the Hase wagon number up there now, too. It's decent. That was a little bit uh, aggressive there from Viper. I think Maybe that's unnecessarily one. so. That I was a third place one. match castle right there. <laughs> I also think that's one where you've got to click it, right? Like, the villagers mm -hmm. are moving all around. I think you've just got to keep clicking for a moment. We do have more villagers from Viper looping around to try and complete that. Yo needs space, man. Yo needs space. Viper. <laughs> Yo. Viper's looking to sneak around to the other side to finish that castle. Oh, he's going to build he a new one. For another one. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's one way to do it. The Hase wagons are probably going to have a ridiculous KD. Like, these eight wagons have ten kills already. It'll probably climb and climb, but... Yo needs more. His food eco has been almost got enough stone for another castle. There we go. Oh, my Attempt God. Two. Here we go. <laughs> That skirms are dying to the Hase wagons. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a there's maybe a chance for Yo, right? Like he's if he denies two castles from Viper, keeps his castles up and makes more wagons. Yeah. Defends because the wagons are strong enough against this number of skirmishers. Like maybe there's a chance. And now here comes Viper. He's gonna try and tread down the next castle. Yeah. I just can't wait big, because big, I can't big, wait because Viper's stone energy. count is set to build another castle soon. Yeah. So I want to know if Yo's going to build a counter castle a third time. Oh, he deletes that first one. Doesn't even get him enough stone to build that uh, oh, that geez. next castle. That's rough. But he wants it, dude. And he sees a hill right there on the tree. If he, <laughs> maybe he chops the straggler tree and builds yeah. a castle there. And Yo's going to have enough wood to sell for gold to buy stone to make it, another castle. It feels like Yo is doing... I, I know why he's reacting, but... I feel like he's doing too much reacting. That middle castle from Viper is for the taking. And he's just kind of let that there. Like, well, I mean, his stone is down now. here, which is incredibly important, right? Yeah. He's also got a gold down there. Viper's coming out to take that gold naturally. There's still another gold in the right side of the map, which um, Yo can see, but Viper's on there with a fire. With a fire, yep. And Viper has enough stone for another castle. This, th another example for anyone who says, why doesn't Yo resign? This game right here. He's at 150 mm -hmm. pop. He's got a really good unit. He's still keeping himself in the game here. It, well, it, he, win he wins the, the matchup if he gets into his late game comp. Yep. He wins the matchup against Malay quite easily with I Bohemians think... if he gets his units. Yeah. Also, a demo on these Karambits would make me so happy. <laughs> the Karambits from Viper are going way too close to the shoreline right now. Obviously, there's, there's no, dock, no risk. Though. There's yeah. no dock, so. And there's elite Hussite wagon now for Yo. That is his unit, and Viper is yet to show any real counter to it, except for making more skirms. Crambit Warriors are going to dive in, though. I, I think a weakness of the Hussite wagon would be they are a bit slow. So having to chase down Karambits, such a tiny little unit, is going to be annoying. It's going to distract you. It's going to give Viper I mean, opportunities just... elsewhere. Those Krambits just melted like butter in a microwave, dude. They absolutely go down to this unit. Look what Viper's doing in the north now. He's trebbed down the TC. This is what Viper's going to start to do now. He's going to mm -hmm. see the main group of Hussite wagons and then just push the other areas then. But Yo's wagons are going to have an obnoxious KD like we said. Karambits are cheap though. So if you start to actually kill Hussite wagons with Karambits, it starts to feel pretty good for you. Not seeing too many No go life down. is this cheap. 
Tristan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. Life is this cheap. <laughs> Viper with five relics might actually run out of gold as well. He's got. Oh okay, my he's going to go for the gold in the south. castle. Yeah. Oh, and there's a tower there. The third, but the third castle. That's that's not happening. Is going to get denied. Yep. Yeah. Unless the tower gets hit by the cannon galleon. Now the watchtower in Imperial Age is being repaired because of the cannon galleon. Yep. And there's a elite Hussite wagon there. Doing and Viper's work bringing more vills. more vills. Viper's going to dive with Karambits elsewhere to hit the bombard cannons. Viper's pop is down to 140. There's also a lot of villagers 86 in this villagers, game. And he's going to lose more, but the castle will go up. Yep. And that's he's Make, okay yeah. to sacrifice villagers to finish that one. Treb's rolling over to take out that castle from Yo. And now the Hussite wagon army in the north... It's getting a it's little huge. intimidating. It is. It's huge. <laughs> Viper has been killing everything but wagons here. Oh no, the gold in the in the right corner, dude. Look at how weak those fills are. The fire. <laughs> oh no. Send a wagon. Send a wagon. The wagon's the only thing that can help here. Dang, man. Okay. I mean, it, a lot of people are now going to be saying, what do you do to counter these things? So siege is helpful and monks are helpful. But you already researched heresy. So monks doesn't really feel mm -hmm. that good. Because Enid would just die. I still think the Onager upgrade would be nice. A couple of smacks with the Onager and you're in a better spot. Oh, this fire is putting in work. And Yo needs to realize that. But it's so hard to realize that when you, you've been lose, taking losses in so many different areas. He is going to trep mm -hmm. down Viper's Castle in the south, though. So he could get access to that gold and that stone again. I think Yo is expecting, and he's going to send a monk over to convert that fire. So he realized, mm -hmm. but... I think he was expecting Viper to dive for these trebs, so he's bringing the wagons over now. And now Viper is able to push the north because the Hussite wagons aren't there anymore. Great recognition for Viper. Every time he sees the main ball of wagons, he knows do to the, dive in another area. Do the Hussite wagons just push into Viper's eco? Well, if it, the problem is if you do that, Karambits are going to be everywhere in your yeah. eco. But I think if you're behind, it's worth it. Maybe ten, send just 10, 15. Yeah. You don't need to have 20 of them together. Like, I think, yeah, 10 to 15 in two or three separate groups could maybe do it, but... Yo is 11 on food right now. He's really struggling. I but mean, to then be again, fair, though, he is making a Hussite wagon, so... Yeah, and, and to be fair, dude, I don't think I've seen him over 20 since he made it to Imp. <laughs> right? Like, he never, he never <laughs> had a good food eco here. If you look at food collected, it's probably ridiculous. Viper's collected uh, 18,000 more food eco, so... I don't think that it's really food he needs. He's... I love dumb games like this, man. <laughs> I absolutely love stupid games like that. Like, Viper kept Yo in it by going for those ridiculous castles. Yeah, yeah. Essentially. You know what would be sick here that Viper will probably never do? Elephants. Is that too crazy? Tons of elephants? How would they do against I, the Hussite wagons? I honestly think... Knowing it, seeing how they perform against like fully upgraded Imperial skirmishers, which is even underwhelming <laughs> with Malay elephants, I think they would just die to these wagons. Yeah. I think Yo could just add in spearmen in front of Dave, these. Doesn't even need to get the pikeman upgrade. 16 on gold for Yo. He's got two piles to work with. There is a galley now for Viper on the oh, gold. Oh, watch your karambits, Viper, because Yo's got these targeted. Dude, Ooh. I'm telling you, Yo can win this freaking game. Mm hmm. Yo can win this freaking game. He's starting to push Viper now. Yo might need to push forward with the wagons here in a second. Really start taking some fights. Krambits are going to go in for Viper. If Yo ever gets to Hufnitsa, dude, it's going to be trouble. <laughs> yeah. And more Bombard Cannons as well. Here come the Karambit Warriors. Let's see. Can the Karambit Warriors survive? Look at all the shots Murr. from these wagons. This is this is a suicidal mission. They, they are all, their only objective is to get the bombard cannons, and they got them. And, the and it's how many can get out. The Trebs as well, right? And and honestly, I thought the whole group would get nuked there. He's actually able to get away with a decent amount of them. That was worth it for the Viper, who again has five relics, but he is not mining gold right now. He's killing the mining camp from Yo on the left side, though. So kind of laming the gold a little Ooh. bit. Ooh, big damage big. here. The Manganel help, the Castle Fire, the Skirms, the Monks, everything's kind of contributing. Yo, maybe running out of gas here. Like you said, no mining camp on the gold. The other galley was on the gold as, too, as well, so Viper's been able to pressure the gold. And Viper adding Manganels is the perfect decision. I, I think he can get the Onager upgrade, and then Yo's going to fall apart a bit. Mm-hmm. 
lead Hussite wagon, and that's about it here for Yo. Could see Viper maybe shift galley. around to kill a castle somewhere. Still putting in work on the right side. Yep. And now a fire is coming in to help. That's so good Oof. from Viper. He pulled that fire away as well. That's not a new fire. He's had that around. And Yo just is so focused on the front. And Viper converts one of the cannons again. And it's a consistent problem for Yo where he just doesn't have the Trev or Bomber Cannon number with the wagons. And Viper's got enough. And we know he's going to have the Eco here. Is he, though? Because he's running out of even, like, wood lines to take. That and would he's be out of crazy gold. if he runs out of wood. I think the wood, I, I mean, I was, I, it's going to last I was thinking long maybe, enough. like, <laughs> if Viper really wants to, like, take full map control here, get Harbor's tech and just slowly start, start making them Start docking the everywhere, the map. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know that those that galley was effective if Yo has to drop a castle in the back because of it. Mm -hmm. But it's smart from Yo because it gives you uh, protection of the gold, which is your most important resource, and it gives you another production building for your wagon. Is he saving for Hoofnitsa right now? Yeah, he's been saving for it for a long time. He just keeps <laughs> losing his bomber cannons and has to make more. Yeah. Like, he's been banking that food for a very long time. Yeah, not making any more vills. He might go light cav. Oh my god, Viper, what are you doing with the skirms? He, Is it worth it? He doesn't it? care about him. Is it worth it? I don't think so. <laughs> Holy... Oh, he's gonna lose like 40 skirms here. By the way, has an extremely casual 98 kills. Yeah, no big deal. Yo's gonna make a run to Wood in the north, perhaps a sign that he feels like Wood is an issue for him soon. Viper's pop has been consistently higher pretty much the whole game, actually. Oh, God, Viper. He brings war galleys over to the gold on the left now. He's like, oh, I can't harass you on the one on the right. <laughs> or which he still is, by the way. Yeah, he still found the way. <laughs> Viper even going to get Galley in, too, so putting a lot of thought and focus into that. And still no uh, Barrack Technologies being researched from Viper, so no thought in his mind that he might want to go for Force Levy. Might feel Ooh, pretty expensive look in the right north. now. Look in the north. Yo's got skirms up there. He's taking wood up there. Yeah. He's sending Hussite wagons over to deny that wood. Yo also getting but he's losing upgrades his right Hussite wagons in the center, and... Hufnitsa just seems like a pipe dream that you're never going to get to yeah. at this point because you always have to spend your res on something else. I think he wants to go Cav here against the Skirms because, like, Light Cav makes a lot of sense against Skirms and Monks. The problem is you're Bohemians, so you lack the final mm -hmm. armor and you lack Bloodlines, so it's one of the worst sieves to be trying Light Cav with Hyper here. just got the Galleon upgrade. For that one and he's ship. he's making more. No, he's making more. Okay, maybe the pressure of the golds. He's yeah. get, well, I mean, there's a lot of wood in the south. Look at uh, that. Wood too. If you're thinking yeah. about resource control, and you can control all of that area with ships. Yeah, that's true. And it's really hard for Yo to engage against that with Cav. Yo showing Light Cav as well. He has to use the Light Cav against the Galleons. He has no choice. But Viper just pulls back the Galleons. Wow, such a sick job from Viper. Like, He's been extremely patient here, Dave. A lot of people would have mm -hmm. tried to force the issue and want a shot from Viper. He kills two Bulbar cannons from Yo. What have we said that before? It's like Yo's trying to get that cannon mass up, and Viper continues to find the pickoffs. Oh no. I have a feeling these wagons oh, are gonna go down. Yeah, a lot of them are weak too. And that Ooh. castle that has 110 kills now on the brink of going down. Viper, will he no, will he focus on this? There is a cannon again from Yo. Viper backs away. We'll add in repairs. The light cav are going to die to skirmishers here. If you don't have that armor, if you don't have bloodlines, I do not think it is the unit. Viper kills some of his own units. It's close. I don't think it's the unit you necessarily want. <laughs> Those light cav died so hard, dude. Oh my god. And here go the Hussite wagons. Once again, Yo is defending this castle with simply two Bombard Cannons now. He's still got a ton of gold in the bank. He's still now being pushed off the wood line in the north, but yeah. is being raided on that gold on the right side by this Galleon the entire time. Yeah, that Galleon has like eight kills, and also there's more mm -hmm. Galleons on the other gold too. Such a good job from Viper. Because it's like five to seven pop, let's say, controlling those golds, which are so critical to Yo right now. Yep. I think Yo, Yo is just... Need He's to... been banking for Hufnitsa for so long, dude, and yeah. he ne just needed to spend the resources. Even... I think he was just thinking about it for, for the last, like, 20 minutes here. Yeah, I mean, honestly, look at the gold and the wood he has, too. He could have more wagons. 
But he might be Forced saving levy. some of that for bomber cannons. Force levy. Oh, man. Okay, so now the militia line for Viper will just cost food. Malay, one of the best civilizations when you when both civs run out of gold. And that will help Viper. Yo's going to send some wagons to finally kill that galleon on the right side. And there's more coming. <laughs> will they survive the castle is the yeah, question. Yeah, that's true. If only one gets over there. <laughs> Why does this feel like a community game right now? <laughs> It it's does. like if the it galleons really make it past the castle, the king will go down. Uh, the Viper doesn't want to lose this game. We're well past an hour at this point, and two-handed swordsman coming in for Viper. I think two-handed swordsman will actually end the game. There's not enough wagons, and mm -hmm. so many of them are weak. If Viper has enough swordsman here, you might not have. You will see that. You will see that early. I mean, there's but still. I don't know if there's anything you can do. They're still gonna die. Like the KD is still gonna be brutal here for Viper at the end of this game, but it's just a spam of some melee, which he hasn't had in a long time. And he dives in with the skirms here, and oh my goodness, it's not pretty. If you're a Viper military unit right now, you're like, yo, boss, we've got five relics. Why are we being so aggressive? Why are we tossing so many of our people away? Because we can. Yeah, exactly. It's all about getting the job done. Who cares about their friends and families and Yo, he's got to be careful. Ones. He's going to nuke his own castle. Could happen. But I don't think he's worried about that right now. 122 kills on that castle. That's the only thing holding this position. And okay. here come the two-handed swordsman. Yeah, two-handed swordsman. Viper still scared. Because of the Bombard Cannons and the Hussite Wagons from Yo. How is this game not over yet? What in the world? Big shot from Viper! And there Huge we shot. go. He'll get all three of those cannons now. And maybe now the castle falls and Yo finally taps out. GG. Wow. What a funny game, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. I that, enjoyed that. <laughs> I mean, the whole series has had some fun energy here today. And, you know, Yo looked like he was dead for a long time there. Viper, I think just being patient and... Nope. The thing I really have to credit Viper for here was expanding his eco to the back after he started to get pressured, right? He got mm -hmm. surprised by Yo's scouts. He was not expecting that at all. And Yo made him work. Forward monastery, uh, siege push, wagons, heresy, monks. Like, there were so many things that Yo threw at Viper here, but still Viper's consistency with his eco and that his ability to push in early Imperial Age was so good because he took so much more of the map back. Uh, and that that's what Yo thought he was going to have. Yo thought... At least, if my eco's worse, I could keep Viper in that corner. Wasn't yep. wasn't quite able to I do that. I honestly, dude, I think uh, the fish made a big difference for Viper. That was an excellent job adding those in, so he didn't need to add more farms in space he didn't have. Yeah. And Yo wasn't expecting that eco behind this. That's probably why he went imp, because he felt like he didn't need to go all in castle. And then, also demoing those monks. If Yo has, like, five more monks that got demoed there... Maybe he gets the wall up in the north, yeah, and Viper never is able to push through there. Maybe he applies pressure in the south of Viper's base, and then Viper doesn't push through in time in the north, right? So really, really good stuff there from Viper, and just classic Viper, holding on to the edge of the map and then slowly pushing out once he's an imp. Yeah, it was a critical time, that demo. You're right. And and maybe that combined with Yo choosing to go for the stone wall earlier, right? Because the thought mm -hmm. he had was great, but he wasn't able to complete the walls in the most crucial area which then allowed Viper to, to push forward and drop the castles yep. that he did. But a good game there. I mean, a great game between two great players. Uh, in our third place match here in Warlords, Viper now one win away from taking third place. And we'll see if he, he does it in the next one or if Yo has more fight in him. I mean, Yo's going to have more fight in him for sure. It feels like these games are going to go late at the very least. But the bad I love sign the for energy Yo is... there from both. Yeah, I like, agree. I just love it. It's crazy. And here we are in that third game now. So Viper going for his, his famous Portuguese. Viper played the Portuguese before they were good at, like, everything, which is where I consider mm -hmm. them to be now. And, uh, you know, Yo has played humans quite a bit here. H have we seen players go for second town center on this map very frequently, Dave? I, I don't think I saw many of them, but I didn't cast as much as you did. I haven't really seen humans on this map very much at all like usually it's bohemians i've seen poles a couple poles. times yep um chinese right like that game valesa played against viper where he ended up losing with like 6k gold in the bank oh or something God. like that yeah the opening from that was like the most perfect opening i've ever seen yep. from valesa it was incredible i watched that archery range dude into mid castle age and it was all time 98 percent efficiency on production 
from that one range from Valesa. It was incredible. Obviously, the ending wasn't <laughs> The ending wasn't good. He tried to save you know, gold on a map where there's endless His opening of was, oh my God, his opening was just beautiful. Yeah. It was phenomenal. Well, I'm glad I asked because I, my feeling was humans maybe has a little bit of third place energy as we've been saying, right? Third mm -hmm. place match, taking some risks here, yo, to try and pull off a bit of a reverse sweep here to somehow beat the Viper in this best of five. Um, do you want to just quickly remind people, just so people are aware, this is the third place match. The final is coming up, and that is between the players that beat these players yesterday, uh, Tato and Hera. So uh, yep. stick around for that, obviously, as we all get warmed up and used to Age of Empires today. It's a short, you know, after this ends, just a short, like, three to four hour break, and then we'll get right into the final. <laughs> three so. to four hour break. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to play, like, a couple force nothing games. Puns only. That's all. T9 is getting in the tub, dude. It's <laughs> getting yeah, in man. the tub. That's, 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 I thought you have that's a what T90 everyone did. tub emote yet? People have been asking about the T90 tub emote, but I'm not sure okay. if that... I'm not sure how long I want that to be remembered. Oh. I'm also not sure oh, dude, if that'd be a that's good emote. Not, that is not your decision to make, to be honest. <laughs> you should know that by now. <laughs> it's not your decision. What dude. have I done? My wife's been at the mall for almost six years, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Oh, man. Is this Viper going over to Stone here? No, okay. He's walking around because when you're up against the Cumans, sometimes you think about good ways to punish them. And the Portuguese organ mm -hmm. gun is oftentimes like strong on maps like Arena. But Viper's villager, I guess he had clicked the gold or the stone to go over here and he's just going to wall up. But this is definitely just a fast castle into something for Viper. He, he wouldn't do this against any other Civ, but I like the decision. Look at this. He's just seen the scout from Yo. He's going to be tracking it, and he knows that Yo's likely in feudal age soon. So he sees that it goes left. He's like, fine, I'll just wall up, dude. and I'll bring my scout home safely. Oh, dude, the timing here is critical, though. He's got no loom. Yo could kill a villain and get away. Huh? This and it's critical. faster scout now with Keelan. <gasps> oh, Viper doesn't even attempt to go for the wall, dude. Oof. He went for the house. Beautiful. Still open on the other side, though, so he does have to be careful. He does not want to research Loom here. Now, this is where, like, most players could get punished, but I think Yo might choose not to fight. You've got two Vils and the Scout. He's being annoying, though. I appreciate that. He's going to pressure anyway. He's going to get in. Nope. Nope. Nice job from Viper there. But good, good work from Yo. Using the Scout and the advantage of having the Feudal Age Scout in what ways he can. And Viper has, like... Four villagers walling right now. Yeah. Like it's a significant part of his eco. And Yo... Ooh. Oh, watch this. Yo's going to see the stone outside the walls. He already saw the stone inside the walls when his scout was there. So if, if you're thinking organ guns is a possibility, we've seen mm -hmm. Yo go tower rush and 2TC boom before. He's going to do it, dude. I, I He's going to do it. Cumans 2TC boom tower rush is like the optimal strategy for them on most maps, honestly, at a high level. Like I've seen Tato do it so many times, even on Arena, right? Yeah. Arena, Arabia, at, like maybe not Arabia, but other maps like this where you can uh, safely boom at home and then go forward. It's crazy because you hold your opponent into their base. You force them to go for towers. Uh, you delay that second TC from coming up or maybe Castle Age from coming up. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile... You're making babies at home. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Yo just, it's so fun to watch the scouting. He just scouted. He didn't actually see the vills. He saw all the stone tiles. If he would have gotten into that little nook, he would have seen the, the villagers. But that's definitely the target for him. I really wonder, mm -hmm. like, let's say Yo dove for a vill kill there, got the vill kill, but lost his scout. I wonder if he would have ever come forward. I think this is all a product of the scouting intel. No, put it in. Oh, yeah, don't put it. Don't in put the it thing. in there. No, because yeah, then you Viper gotta can you gotta put a little palisade wall in there. Yeah, so Viper can't actually you, build for you're, it. And wall you're not. It in. You're not wrong. I think Yo needs to build a palisade in that area. Well, Viper's in feudal. Remember, Viper does not have loom. I think Viper's gonna collect as much stone as possible. This is so smart. And then go to gold and, and buy then go stone. to gold and buy it instead yeah. of ever counter towering here. <laughs> Yep. As long as he gets 450, he should be... Oh, he doesn't get 450, dude. Yeah. Now he's going to have to buy an extra 100. All right. So tower is going to go up. Now there's going to be more towers as well. So Viper is going to need to build a new lumber camp. But yo... Now, I think what yo needs to do is make some outposts or just keep the scout very active on the right side. Not just for that stone, 
But once Viper gets to Castle Age, because Viper might opt to go for like a castle in the middle area, securing yeah. the gold or something. Would be quite a sight if Viper were to walk across the map. I think that'd be a little too risky. No, I meant like but, just in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, but gold. like that's yeah. that's a possibility too. Like sometimes you want the castle drop the cumins. Obviously, that'd be too crazy. There also are lions on the edge as well, which players will have to pay attention to. That's a big deal though that Viper didn't get the 450 stone. That is a really mm -hmm. big deal. Buying 300 stone is expensive, and that's going to take yep. gold away from other things, especially when you already have to make a new lumber camp. You're just now getting your first eco upgrade. Yo's got a He's had to buy lead. food as well yeah viper so that takes some gold away from that and it's it's definitely delayed here dude it's it's very it's gonna be a very very delayed um organ gun spam if that's what he wants to go for because he doesn't have the res the thing to think about though is if viper fall in, falls massively behind in villagers this is a civilization that has a unit that you don't need a lot of eco for right like we've seen mm -hmm. so many games i think it was sato accm Sato lost most of his castle drop villagers, still ended up winning the game with Portuguese in that one, so... That Oregon was a disgusting good. game. Yeah, dude, I, I felt, like, so bad for ECCM. Mm -hmm. Like, you knew it was going to be a bit of a tilter, and then he deleted his monastery. There's the stone being bought, and he needs to buy an extra 100 stone. Yeah, but Viper is just taking as much gold as he can for now. Once the tower completes, he's going to be out of here. It's so funny how much respect they have for each other. Yo's not going to try any traps or click walls because he knows it won't happen. He's not going to attack Viper's with his scout. not going to rush out. Yeah. yeah because yeah, just... he knows Yo can deal with that fight. Yeah. <laughs> they're both just so accepting of the situation here. Now, that villager could maybe die, though. The pathing on that was a bit weird. And there goes the castle for Viper. He had to buy 300 stone, like we said. And the villager Dead. does go down. Still no okay, loom. So here. that... That castle will take out these two towers, somewhat secure this gold, but ah. Yo is going to harass him with this tower in the meantime, and it's just all about delaying for Yo. He's got 49 yeah. vills behind this. He's a 20 villager lead. Look at Yo's house wall at home. I like that instead of the Palisades. And Yo's got to think about getting to Castle Age. Now, this is where I think Yo should know this. Players should idle their TC. You already have a massive vill lead. Idle your TCs for just a minute or two to get the food to be able to click up. Yeah, if you have a, if you have enough gold in the bank. Right now, it's kind of pointless to idle. Yeah, yeah, Because you don't have true. the gold, right? Yeah, you need your buildings. You need that. You could always sell a little bit of wood for the gold. wonder what these villagers are going to do as well. I feel like the villagers... There's a temptation here to mine gold in the middle. But that is a temptation you must fight. Because the working guns are going to mm -hmm. be coming. Oh, Tower boy. already on the gold for you. At home. Look at Viper, though. He's going to stone with... 10 more vills. This will be organ guns and monks into another castle. And that castle might be the one that's forward at Yo's base. Things that humans have to counter organ guns. Siege. And only siege. It is a short list. <laughs> <laughs> you could write siege on it twice, though. How's that? Because you could at least like make the siege workshop an age earlier. So you could be making yeah. it now. You just can't make uh, mangonels until you're in castle age. But I like Yo's position. He's also on stone too. Also, his eco is going to be insane. So he could make a couple step lancers, a couple scouts, a couple knights. Like ultimately, Viper's not going to be able to kill twenty villagers with this push. He needs to keep Yo off the middle. Maybe get a forward castle up on Yo, and that could change things. But he's got four organ guns, one or two monks right now. Really vulnerable position for Viper to be in. He's the double stable, Mister Triple Stable. <laughs> um, and knights with the armor upgrades can do quite well against organ guns if there's a low enough mass. But once you mix in monks, it becomes a little bit of an issue. Yeah, no siege workshop for Yo yet. A little surprising. And Viper's gonna be happy to deny that stable for the time being. Yo did not scout to see if Viper was on that stone. Because he lost his scout moments ago. He's not making any more scouts. He's now making the Siege Workshop. Here come the Vills from Viper. Now, he's only bringing six. This might be because he still needs Villagers on Stone to get enough for the castle. But, like, six Villagers building a forward castle? That's a pretty risky number. Normally, you want about ten as your minimum. 
Viper oh, also getting attacked by a lion. Die. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, quick wall, Viper. Maybe. Quick wall. No, he ain't got time for that. Well, there's no noise. There's a bug that's been in the game for months where you don't get noise from animals attacking you. So Viper might not on even know about that. On custom maps. On custom maps. on custom maps. So though. basically tournaments that have tens of thousands yeah. of dollars. <laughs> yep. But in ranked games, you're fine. <laughs> Gotta love the AoE2 code. How that makes sense, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's charming. Here come more villagers from Viper. He's just got nine villagers now. He would have had ten otherwise. And Viper wants this castle to be forward, but is Ooh. this the spot he wants it? I don't know, Viper. Yo, we'll see it. Attack around it. Hit it. Yo, hit it. Yo's Mike Ring step lane just chance, maybe. Dude. Yep. Oh, jeez. Now, organ guns do so little against Manganels now. And a lot of these villagers are weak. Yo, you cannot give Viper any step lancer conversions here. Look at them out repair the damage from the organ guns. Yeah, the, the unit balance is, is weird. But yo, ran out of res. He ran out of wood, of all things, and he's Ooh. going for the castle over there. Viper is still only building this castle with seven villagers. However, Yo's, both of Yo's step lancers got converted. Here comes two more, killing the monk. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Yo, oh, there's a Megadel! Oh, no! Could, they, could both castles get denied? There's no Double way, right? Double denial. Double denial potential. Uh, no, it's, it's, a, it's a single denial. Viper's castle will go up. Yo's castle will now never go up. Yo has nothing. This might be the series. Dang, Viper got the forward castle down. There was so mm -hmm. much risk associated with it, but he knew he had to do something significant against the humans, and he gets the job done. There was so much patience within that game from Viper. Like, the, the moment where the first tower came forward, and he never counter-towered, and he just backed away. The moment where the next tower came up, and he just backed away. Built his castle, got the timing with the organs and the monks. Yo will be a little bit disappointed. I think that the step lancers could have found the villagers walking across the map. There's maybe a little bit more potential with the Mangonel as well. But uh, listen, this whole series had massive third place match energy. Okay, mm -hmm. it's not the first third place match that we've seen where uh, you know uh, the civ choices and the the decisions were a little bit different than maybe the final, which is what we'll have next. Viper's third place in Warlords two. Yo will be fourth, but we got to figure out where number one and number two falls with Hera and Tato on the horizon. And that will be a best of nine, too. It should be pretty crazy. I enjoyed this one. It was really fun, dude. I agree. Like, I, I don't mind. We talk about third place match. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't mind it. It's fun. It's fun. It's, it's really it's fun. It's fun, especially between these two guys. I just have to wonder, like, when Viper first placed that foundation, the Mangonel was within range. Does that Mangonel kill that foundation that was only being tapped by one villager? I think it would have. If Yo attacks that. Yeah, I, I think, think it, it would've. does. It definitely seemed as though, like, we know Yo. So Yo yeah. should know that type of thing. It definitely seemed like Yo was a little distracted. Sometimes when you have that many vills, you're adding farms. Uh, with the Step Lancers, maybe he was looking at those. Maybe he was getting an upgrade. We don't know. But there was definitely an opportunity. Like, Viper maybe even took too much of a risk with that castle. A lot of people would say you want to place the castle on the hill a couple tiles back. But uh, high risk, high reward is what we like. Fun series, I agree. And final will be coming up.